What's up everybody? I'm just waking up for real, for real. Um, it's probably about, yeah, it's about seven o'clock a.m. They're ready to go out to DC. Uh, probably like later tonight. Or not later tonight, not probably later tonight. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to make this quick video for you guys about five things that you need when you're on the boat in the water essential to me anyways these are essential things obviously besides the stuff that they tell you to bring like your steel toes and all the other stuff but these are the stuff that they don't tell you about that they're essential 100 percent but let me go start my day real quick and then i'll get back with you guys <laughs> Outfits ready. Got my shoes. I'm just bringing these two bags with me. Like I said, it's only two days, so I don't really need much. I may not even need this much, but I'm bringing it just in case. Yeah, for for y'all that you watched my previous video, my ankle feels a lot better. Um, that fall it definitely sucked, but like I said, my ankle feels a lot better. Um, it did pretty much go away. It was not gone. I can still feel it, but it doesn't really doesn't hurt is you know those when you can just feel it if that makes sense it doesn't hurt or anything but you can still feel like okay it's something still there but it doesn't it's not it's just like slight discomfort type deal you know what i'm saying so that's where i'm at what's up everybody um as y'all see from the title this is a video on five things that i feel like you need when officially going out to sea not to be confused with my previous video with what I wish I knew before I became a merchant seaman. But five things you need. You're already a merchant seaman now. You're already about to be going to your first ship. Every, you've done the training and everything. Now you are literally headed to a ship about to go out to sea. These are five things I wish I knew that I know for a fact you need when you're touching that boat for the first time. Number one, get you a T-Mobile plan, the international plan. I think it's about maybe $60 if it hasn't gone up, maybe $70. I'm not super positive, but get you the T-Mobile international plan. The best, uh, to be honest, the best phone, if you're from America, this is the best phone service to have when going overseas because they, you can have, I think it's 20 cents a minute and unlimited data and unlimited texting. So for right now, that's probably the best plan that there is out there. If I'm wrong, you let me know. What do you guys use for people that follow me that's already going out to see and stuff like that? What do you guys use? But this is what I've been using this whole time. They don't have the best customer service. I don't prefer T-Mobile, but they are the best one when you are going international. Japan, Korea, and all that stuff. When you want to be able to make a quick phone call and don't want to have to worry about paying like ten dollars a minute t-mobile is the best one um i didn't have them my first year yeah my first year i did not have it everybody on the ship out they had it and i would just send it like i would have to like if i wanted to talk to people at home if i wanted to send just a quick text message i would always have to go find me a uh Wi-Fi spot and sometimes you have to pay for Wi-Fi when you're overseas um, but it's not convenient when you don't have service and you want to get things done especially if you're the type of person that has a business or you know in real estate and you need to be able to make at least a couple phone calls a month you know what I'm saying or at least be able to communicate through messenger and stuff that's probably the best way to do it is the most convenient and it saves a lot of heartache. So get your T-Mobile plan, you definitely worth it, 100%. Number two, I think I've stated this in my previous video, but for a fact, get you a laptop and a hard drive, or two external hard drives, or you can just do one, but I prefer to get two external hard drives, one for movies and one for TV shows. And if you're a gamer, get your laptop for games um, I ain't gonna lie having movies and TV shows definitely saved my life a couple times okay not literally but it saved my life as far as 
when I'm really, really, really bored or you just you don't want to talk to nobody. You just want to be a recluse in your room for a little bit. Having a couple TV shows and movies definitely help because it just helps with time. It helps make time go by. And a lot of people don't realize but you have a lot of time. So time tends to go slow. A lot of people look at the life and like, oh, you're going overseas, you're hitting different ports all the time, you're always having fun. No, there's a lot of dull time, a lot of, there's a lot of this, but then there's a lot of just in the water doing nothing. So you're gonna wanna have something to occupy your time. Um, another thing about occupying your time, bring gym outfits, bring you a couple whether trainers or running shoes. I'm a runner, so I always have running shoes. I have running outfits for myself, workout outfits. Um, this is probably the best time for you to like really get yourself in shape. It's, you have nothing but time, especially when you're going out to sea. So you have nothing but time, then just hit the gym after work or whatever, depending on what position you are. But if you're a day worker, um, hit the gym after work, get your workout on, and really start like trying to take care of your body because it's very easy to because you're getting fed three meals a day no matter what and there's pretty sure depending what ship you get on it what type of cheap store you got you're gonna have snacks everywhere so it's very easy to start gaining weight like I gained an excessive amount of weight coming out to see yeah I lost a lot but then I'm also gained a lot so it's just it fluctuate but you're gonna gain weight when you first come out, unless you specifically are already in a routine that you try to take with you when you're on the ship, make sure you stick with it. Because again, it is very easy to get lazy and just eat and sleep, eat and sleep and work, eat, sleep and work. So definitely, if you can, bring yourself some workout clothes, some sh workout shoes, and start hitting the gym. This is your time to help yourself financially and help yourself mentally and physically. And the best way to do it is start going to the gym. And honestly, the best way to get your mind right is to start also bringing books. Books is very, very important. I notice a lot of guys are like, oh, well, I don't have time to read or this and that, no. This is if you're coming, you're coming out to see to improve your life. If you're coming out to see to improve your life, get the financial benefits of working. Also, improve your mind. Go ahead and start like bringing books, whether it be business books, books on finance, um, books on self development. Get all the books that you think you might need. Bring them and read them. You're gonna have time to read, so definitely bring some books it will help you especially the people that really want to get into business or you have a business in mind or if you just really want to get your finances right there's a bunch of books that will help you like obviously there's the basic ones everybody know like Robert Kiyosaki the um, rich dad poor dad I've read that like three four times already um, there's another book I might link a couple of them down below it's called I Would Teach You To Be Rich. Just the first couple of chapters changed the way I maneuver my money. I've always been good with money, but this like, if I was like already right here, this kind of put me like up here, you know what I'm saying? So definitely there's plenty of books that are out there that will help you, whether it be financially, business-wise, or self-development wise. And even if you were the type of reader that just likes to read, like fiction, fantasy books, bring you those books. It will definitely come in handy when you're out to sea for a certain amount of days and you don't have any internet and you don't feel like watching TV and you just have time on your hands. It definitely helps to have a book in your hand. Have a book, be able to read, and then feel comfortable being able to read your book. And um, a lot of people don't read when you're out there. And that's why I feel like a lot of people don't reap the benefits of having the time to yourself. Having the time to be able to 
get your books ready or get your mind right, do what you got to do and be able to really not function, but get to that next level that you're looking for when you start coming out to see. So definitely get you some books. Number five, get you a water bottle. I got it. So mine is a hydro flask and when I say I bring that everywhere I go, I literally mean I bring it everywhere I go. If I don't have it, it's almost like I don't drink any water. <laughs> so, but literally get you a water bottle, any water bottle, doesn't matter. But I specifically have the hydro flask. I like it, keep it clean, keep it with you. Always have some water. Cause it's, it's funny to say, you're out to sea all the time you're surrounded by water but it's very easy to not stay hydrated when you're out there because you're working especially if you're in a deck department you're working in the sun you're doing a bunch of things and then you come in you may sip a little bit of water but you realize you're not drinking anywhere near as much water as you're used to when you're at home well, have if you have yourself a water bottle and you bring it with you everywhere you go it's gonna force you to want to drink it so always have it this way you can stay hydrated you don't have to drink as much water as me i'd be trying to shoot for a gallon a day but i also run a lot i haven't ran lately because i hurt my ankle but i run a lot so i'm always hydrating myself but you don't have to drink as much as me but have yourself a water bottle the bonus one here you go get you a pair of shower shoes get you a pair of shower shoes um because they don't tell you i don't think they do but they don't, they don't tell you when you do the neo class or the um, what is it orientation that you're gonna need this stuff or need like this stuff like this but bring you some shower shoes so when you take a shower you, and your feet's not touching the floor and anything and also bring you bedroom shoes and if you especially when you have your if you don't have your own room you're gonna want to have bedroom shoes because you're gonna be walking around and um what is it it depends if you're in like a birthing ship birthing ship then it's then you have like, like 20 different people in the room and you don't want to be walking around there barefoot <laughs> obviously that's it's not that it's disgusting most people keep it clean but just i don't know i would just always recommend having bedroom shoes you never know somebody actually spill something on the floor you don't want to get your feet wet or you don't want to get your socks wet just have some bedroom shoes and um have some shower shoes it's those are bonus but like i said i know that sounds mundane but it's it's so imperative to have those bedroom shoes and shower shoes um i would try to find one but i don't feel like looking for it right now but um if you can get the shower shoes that enclose your entire foot kind of like crocs you know what i'm saying so that way your feet are clean you're good or you're not clean you're not touching the bare floor because like i said we the floor stay clean it's my job to keep some things clean but i can only keep it but so clean the rest you got to do yourself as far as like keeping your feet your health you know but other than that these i feel like are the five things you need when you're going out to sea when you officially touch that ship these are the five things i promise you you're gonna want 100 percent it's mike aka kata for life i love y'all